week number five and to the type masking lesson. This week we're going to use an image of this, a sailing boat. You can find those images right here. I should just click on download that one and then pull it up in Illustrator and we're going to explore what we can do with type. So I've already pulled mine up in Illustrator so we can get started. For the first image we're going to use, uh, we're going to create the image inside the type. So we're going to cut out the image and just have the type left in it. I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to use the type tool which is located over here. It's the T in the toolbar. Click once on that one. We're going to click once and then drag to create a little text box. We're going to write something. You can write whatever you want. I'm just going to write type to keep it simple. I'm going to click on the selection tool and move it a little bit more in the middle. So I already have a pretty bold type on this one, but if you do not, you just double click on the text, uh, text box and mark everything inside the text box and go up to the character. And you can choose whatever you want. I recommend using a bold one just for now and to, when we explore our, our type tools and stuff like that because it's easier to, to see. Uh, so I'm using a pretty large type right here too. So we click on the selection tool, deselect the type, click anywhere on the screen. We're going to select both the image and the type. Just by clicking and dragging and selecting both of them. We're going to go up to object, flipping mask, make. And there we go. Now the type is, uh, the image was, it's now cut out uh, with the type we just created. We're going to do it again, but in a different way and see if it works. I'm having the instructions right next to me, so I'm just following them down, following them, just like you will do. We're going to go to the type tool again, click once and drag. I'm going to write something random again, just type or something. Place it in the middle of the image. We are going to outline this type, so we go to type. And then, let's see. Type create outline so I can't see it. There we go. It took me a second. There we go. So when we click the, the create outline on type, that means that we have now divided up each letter into its own little shape. That means we can change the color on each type on each letter. If we would not have outlined this type, then everything would have changed to the same color. One thing to keep in mind when you outline text, that means that you can't change it anymore. This is a shape, so you can't double click it and type something else. So this is now four different individual shapes. We are going to select everything, the image and the, and the type right there. So we got the image and all the four individual shapes selected. We're going to go to object and create a clipping mask. And as you can see, we have no good result. So you can't outline outline your text and then create a clipping mask. You gotta create a clipping mask first and then outline your text. So that was an example in our lesson that we're gonna go through. Our third our third uh, image we're gonna use. I'm just scrolling down the instructions. Okay, we're going to select our type type tool, which is in the toolbar. Click once and drag to create a little box. Write something random, just type. We're going to move it to the middle. We are going to mark the image and type. So we're going to select those and then... No, kidding. We are going to select a new word. We're going to go to type, create outlines. And then we are going to go to object, compound, make. So now you can see that it kind of like, it kind of, it cut off the, we cut out the fill and cut out the text, but it did not cut out the actual image. We're not really there yet. So the type is outlined, has no fill. And now we're going to go to, we're going to select 
the photo and our little outline. So we just click and drag up here and make sure we have everything selected. We're going to go to Object, Clipping Mask, and Make. And there we go. So now your text is inside the type. Um, the advantage of this one is because you can, the advantage of doing this method rather than the first one and the second one, which was just to fail, is that you can now change every individual letter to whatever you want. Um, let's see how we can access those. Oh yeah, we're going to use the direct selection tool. There we go. And now you can change all the, let's zoom in a little bit so we can see, and now you can change the individual letters by marking the anchor points you want to choose. And you can drag out, you can mark a few of them so it doesn't look so weird. There we go. So we can make the T a lot longer. Let's make one of the Y point, Y corners a little bit longer too. There we go. So to change the individual letters, you just use the direct selection tool. Go to P, select those anchor points, pull them down a little bit. Go to the E, select the E, select a few anchor points over there, pull it out. And there we go.